<laughs> well, sure, I dear tell a whole lot about a boarding house here in New York kept by Mr. Delmonique. I guess there'd been more than 500 summer boarders down to Pumpkin Center, and I calculate I've carried the bundles and run the errands and stood the abuse from most all of them. <laughs> when any one of them got to complaining about anything, I'd ask him where he stopped at New York, and they all said that Mr. Delmonic is. Well, I said to Mother, now, Mother, when I get down to New York City, that's where I'm going to board. at Mr. Delmonique's. Well, I got a fella to show me where it was, and when I got on the inside, I don't suppose I was ever more shot back in all my life. <laughs> I couldn't tell whether it was a high tone society festival or a camp meeting at feeding time. They had flowers and birds everywhere and a lot of patent windmills are running and out in the woods someplace they had a band to play and I couldn't see them but I could hear them. I guess some of them was having a dance to settle down their dinner. <laughs> and they had a lot of circus gals dancing in there. One gal come up and kicked far over my head and tickled me under the chin. Gosh, I could just feel the heat of breaking out all over me. <laughs> One fella come up to me and commenced talking some outlandish language. Something about Bon Shower, Bon Shower, and I made up my mind he was some buckle shopper and I wouldn't talk to him. Another fella come up and wanted to know if I'd have my dinner, table the hotel, or all over the cars. I told him if it was just the same to him, he could give me my dinner on a plate. <laughs> well, he handed me a little program of the dinner, and I had about halfway down it, and then he brought me a bottle of cider pop, and I got to drinking it, and it went to my head, and I never felt a gosh darn good in all my life. <laughs> I danced old Dan Tucker right there in the dining room. I hugged three or four of them circus gals and took a rattle out of Mr. Bon Sour Mon Sour and just then then come a lot of constables and they took me out riding in a little blue wagon with a bell on it and it cost me sixteen dollars and seventy five cents and they kept ringing that bell every foot of the way to let folks know I was one of Mr. Delmonte.